like the the in-game volume everything's good making sure everything's good for the stream we good okay we're good so uh we're facing an interesting little team here usually you don't see scissor on sun teams you usually see scissor on rain uh however it looks like zapdos is gonna be my guy um chukaberry heatran could be really nice here too because i'll be able to tank an earth well not an earth power i have to dynamax to tank the earth power uh, I think what I want to do here is I could go Zap. Realistically, I could go Zapdos Heatran on lead, or I could even go Screens Heatran, and that might be better. I think I'm gonna go Screens Heatran because Heatran kind of nay nays on everything there, uh, except for the Rotom and the Zapdos. But I don't think they're gonna lead off that way. Most Sun players like to lead off Sun. I'll bring Zapdos in the back, and I think my last Mon. This is just gonna be like Trick Room stuff, right? You tank Earth Power with... Well, I mean, uh, Max Quake is what I'm concerned about. Less than Earth Power. Uh, we have to leave Polyrath at home. Okay. Um, I think Cresselia is the best option there. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Cringe as Nene Heatran. By the way, if you're subscribed, you get those cool little emotes. My favorite one is obviously the Nene. It's it's a Nene of like the the characters that you see, like the little weird little characters you see on online when it prompts you for stuff. That's what it is. Hey, thanks for wishing me luck, French Toast. I appreciate you. Uh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so clearly I'm going to want a Max Flare here. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the light screen. I'm really hoping... <laughs> I'm really hoping they just Dynamax Earth Power. Oh no, they went for the Sleep Powder. I... They went for the Sleep Powder, which is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. I really hate when they go for the sleep powder first. And thank you for the bits, uh, Mira VD. I appreciate you. How many are you playing per team? I'm going to try to do two per team. I'm going to do two per team today, and it's Sunday. I don't have anything going on. If I go past the 7 p.m. mark, it's whatever. Let's go. <laughs> we are not getting sleep powder today. Hand that over. Go ahead, hand it over. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go for two games and I'm sorry, Quartle, if that is your is that a French name? I don't know. But you're doing like That is comically low damage. That is what that is what we in the stream call comically low damage. That did like nothing. That did like nothing. That's funny. You might call me lucky for dodging the sleep powder, but I call them bad for clicking it. <laughs> Even though I'm going to go ahead and click it probably like 90 times today. Here's the Zapdos. Uh, what's the chances they got Yawn? Y'all got Yawn in here. I'm going to set up a Reflect. Because I think they're more likely to Dynamax the... Um... I think they're going to Dynamax their turtle it is morally correct to make fun of sleep powder users i'm sorry <laughs> all right so they dynamax that which i don't necessarily agree with but i'm cool with it because next turn i'm just gonna go ahead and paralyze it and then hit it and ooh, it's probably running quake it's probably running quake which could be an issue but it's non-stab so i can definitely take one They got Knuckle, okay. I guarantee you I'm still living there. <laughs> I'm still living their Earth Power, and I might one-shot him. I don't know. My Max Quack. Yeah, we one-shot. Heatran's going kind of crazy right now. Heatran's going kind of crazy. You know, before, I just want to point out, I have a really messy bed. The messy bed is now a staple of the live streams. 
Uh, but I, I just want to say, like, I've always been, like, a big proponent of wide lens on sleep powder. Uh, but I've sort of grown out of that, mainly because it feels like it doesn't matter. It kind of feels like it doesn't matter, like, 90% of the time. So, oh, wait, I can't do that. I should not do that. I can still take one, though, right? I can still take one. Yeah, and I got Zapdos in the back of this... Easy money. Uh, let me go ahead and I'll spirit break the Rotom. Here's the max knuckle. We still eat that. I really hope I'm faster than a Rotom. I mean, we might just live a freaking Thunderbolt or a Hydro Pump, whatever they go for, anyways. We are faster, that's fine. We got solid damage. That's definitely not Assault Vest. We might have seen Life Orb or something, and I just haven't been paying attention. I definitely haven't. <laughs> That's my biggest flaw with Pokemon, is I'll be playing a whole game, and then realize I haven't paid attention for five minutes. Also, I'm stupid. That's another flaw. Alright, like, just then, I almost went for a scary face on, like, Galarian Zapdos. And, like, completely unironically, too. Like, I was like, yeah, look at this play. Check out this play. You know what? You know what? Check out that play. Check out that play. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Check out that play. Get your Defiant boost. I don't care. I win next turn regardless because of my Zapdos. I just have to connect and I'm good. Check out that play. Boom. Boom. Be gone, Zapdos. <laughs> now you might be saying, Marcos, wasn't that suboptimal? Yes. <laughs> it was. That was very suboptimal. <laughs> but I kept my Heatran, that's what's funny. All right, uh, I mean, Sun's still up. Let's just click Heat Wave. I think they're just gonna forfeit anyways. Style points, big important, yes. <laughs> yeah, if the Heat Wave missed, I might have lost there. Actually, I probably wouldn't have just because my Zapdos comes in and clicks Thunderbolt and always outspeeds, so it wouldn't have mattered, but it, I still, still had to click it, you know? It was style optimal, to say that much. All right. So, I just want to say I like this team a lot already. I'm already liking it. Uh, they got nothing for Zapdos. They got nothing for Zapdos Grimly, to be honest. Like, what they got for that? Nothing. What they got for that? Upset I can't really bring Polyrath. Polyrath doesn't do much in this game. Does he have Ice Punch? I might make an exception just to bring it once. It's Water Absorb, but that's not too useful for anything other than switching in for Heatran. And even then, it still loses to the Rotom, so... I'm gonna forego it. I feel bad foregoing it, but I'm gonna have to Fortnite it. Ah, yes. Max Knuckle... Even then, Stomping Tantrum is probably better, just because you get the special defense boost. Because if you're running Galarian Zapdos, a lot of them run Stomping Tantrum to beat Electric types. So just throwing in the other Steel type, you know? Throwing in, like, the Steel types that don't take super effective from Max Knuckle, like, that'll do it. I guess the only thing it truly would be good for is, like, the rare Bronzong matchup. That might be useful. Blaze Kick does beat Aegislash. Aegislash isn't really relevant right now. Like, I haven't seen an Aegislash. Oh my god, when's the last time I saw an Aegislash? Like, not even, like, in-game. I haven't seen an Aegislash in a long time. I'm actually finally playing through XY. I never played through XY, and now I'm playing through it, and I just got a, I got a Hone Edge, so. Okay. Uh, more than, more likely than not, I feel like they're just gonna go ahead and Tailwind Max Rockfall. If they're gonna Max Rockfall me, I wanna go into Heatran. 
and set up a reflect. And then next turn, I'll burn their Max Quake by doubling back out into Zapdos. Right now, we're just kind of pivoting around. Likely going to see a max Rockfall. Possibly even a max Quake into the Grim Snarl, but then I still bait out their attack. Yo. Okay. Interesting. They did not Tailwind. So, Self Swagger. Self Swagger. We still tank that really well. Really is kind of subjective. Really well is pretty subjective there. <laughs> I would say that's really well for what it was. For what we just took, that was really well. I'm going to double out into my Zapdos now. And uh, I'm actually going to scary face this thing. Because more likely than not, they're just going to go ahead and Tailwind up. Mox, are you seeing my messages? Let me check. Is it via, like, Twitch Whispers or what? Alright, now they're slow. And next Steel Spike. Okay, respectable, respectable. Is the queue closed? There is no queue. It's exclusively subscriber teams today. So if you're subscribed, you would just like send it via like DM or in the Discord. You can put it there with your Twitch username. Okay. I might lose to this Garchomp. I think I have a shot. Here in chat. Uh, I see some. Oh yeah, Swagger Max Rockfall. I did see that one. I didn't know what the context was. I really want to Dynamax the Zapdos, but I don't think it's worth it. I think I go into Heatran here, sacking it. And I go ahead and I fake out this thing. Assuming they just... Okay, that's fine. And assuming the max rock falled into the Heatran, I should be able to take care of this. Yep, there it is. Please be into Heatran. Yeah. <laughs> Mole Trace is Lava Dose, so I guess they mix up the numbers in different languages. That's kind of funny. What other lies have I been told? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows, man? So now I should be able to max airstream that Garchomp. I'm gonna take a lot from a rock from a rock slide, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. And I'll grassy glide as well. Just to make sure it goes down. I really hope they're not sand veil. I hope they're rough skin. If they could whiff this rock slide, that'd be kind of awesome. Alright. I don't think I take too much anyways, but it would be a lot. Has the chance to be a lot of damage. 
We go for the air slash. Oh yeah, I forgot I lowered its speed. So we're gonna outspeed it here. Oh no, we're not, because he tailwinded. I'm stupid. You stupid. I am. All right, so that'll take care of that. We didn't take too much from the rock slide, which is great. Uh, next turn, I think what I'm gonna do is try to predict them to tailwind and protect their Moltres. And by predicting the tailwind and protect, what I can do is uh, KO their KO their Tornadus and then outspeed the Moltres in the next turn. Because I believe their tailwind's up, right? Maybe it's not. Maybe there's one more turn. But regardless, I have to predict them... Um, yeah, next turn. Regardless, I'm going to predict them going for a protect this turn. Because they get a weakness policy that way. There's the Rotom. Is that Rotom Wash? It is. I find it pretty unlikely that they're not going to protect this thing. They, like, lose if they don't protect that thing this turn. I'm going to Airstream for some speed. Grassy Glide. I really hope they protect it. No way. Really? You're going to run Ally Switch Rotom? Of all the things to run Ally Switch on, that's like the last thing I'd expect it. Alright, I'm going to KO it this turn if I outspeed. To get their Berserk boost, that could be really bad. If I outspeed, I win. I outspeed. Cool. Of all the things... Of all the things to run that move on, really? Well, they did kind of protect it. <laughs> in a in a sense, they protected it. In a sense. Yeah, Alex Switch shouldn't be given to like every other Pokemon that exists. Alright, here is where I have to make a bit of a prediction. I think they're going to ally switch Tailwind. Actually, no. It's useless to Tailwind because we're at plus two, right? Is my Rillaboom also at plus two? It is. I am going to predict... Well, I mean, it's useless to Tailwind, but it's not useless to ally switch. So what I can do now is Max Lightning into you and also Grassy Glide into you. Alright, that's fine. Because I'm keeping my Rillaboom this turn, I'm certain. John Zhu, how you doing? Sunday stream, very nice. Yeah, we're using... I'm going to make it sub-Sunday, so if you're subscribed, you know. We just do subscriber things. We use the subscriber teams. And instead of one team per game, because... Here's the thing, like... When it's everyone's teams that I'm using... I only really have time to use everyone's team like once. When I'm using only subscriber teams, there's less people, so I can do like two games per team minimum. And this should probably win me the game. Ooh, okay, a berry. And this will KO. Nice. Solid two games there. I like this team quite a bit. I like the offensive Zapdos stuff. I like the, uh... I, I'm upset I didn't get to use the, um... The Poly... The Polyrath, but... It's whatever. feel pretty comfortable just leading off with this boy. Uh... Honestly... Is this Breaking Swipe? That'd be really cool if it was. It's not. Uh, but I think that's fine. I think what I want to do... Ooh... Maybe not. I think the safest play is going to be leading off Incineroar Rotom. What's the Tokus set? Alright, follow me, Yawn, Dazzling Gleam, Protect. I think I'm going to bring it uh, just to keep the Rotom a little bit safer. I definitely want to bring this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring that. Let's try it. <laughs> Fury Swipe Venusaur. <laughs> or Fury Cut Venusaur. That was the meme.
was Incineroar good before Intimidate? Incineroar wasn't good, however, it was useful. It was, like, fine. It was a fine Pokemon. It just was outclassed by uh, Arcanine. For the earliest Incineroar usage that I can remember, the earliest effective one, I believe Giovanni Costa on his Dragonite EV setup team back in 2017, uh, he actually used an Incineroar and went pretty deep into the tournament. Yeah, that is that video is also on on YouTube. It's a really cool video. Giovanni Costa's freaking Dragonite did like a four v one reverse sweep. Not even a reverse sweep. It just fought back. It was able to live that long. It was insane. But yeah, I think here uh, they're likely just gonna try to KO my Incineroar. I can get in the Togekiss and attempt a Nasty Plot. Get that Nasty off. Get the Nasty. For what occasion did they give hidden abilities to Alola starters? They just did it. They just kind of did it, just like with um, Gen 8. Just gave it to him eventually. Moltres protects. All right. All right. All right. Mammoth Swine protects. All right. All right. And next turn, I'm just going to get the Incineroar in again. Because I truly believe they're just going to go for an ice move. Pokemon Bank, that's what it was. Philip Banks is going to build banks and fill those banks with banks. If you get that, you're a real one. You've seen the Citizen Kane of YouTube poops. I don't even like YouTube poops. I just like that one. That one's my, that one's my jam. They have literally no switch-ins to a Max Lightning for the Moltres. This is so sad. Can we get an F in chat for the Moltres? They have no switch-ins. <laughs> Long reach is cool. Long reach is cool. Does the Regieleki eat this? Like, really, does it? I don't know. I don't know if it does. They're likely just going to go for, like, an Icicle Crash into my Incin. Kind of hope I one-shot this Regieleki. I probably don't, depending on the build. Why is a man in a furry costume intimidating? Have you ever seen um, in uh, Invincible, the new, the new show that's based off the comic? There's a character called Battle Beast. Battle Beast is intimidating. <laughs> Do not question Battle Beast. Incineroar looks kind of like a red Battle Beast. Hey, we just one-shot that thing. Nice. That's just straight up, like, no investment. That's, like, no investment in a bulk. Yeah, Battle Beast went in. There's only one way to describe that fight. Battle Beast went in. Yo, that kind of looked like the Battle Beast. <laughs> I kind of look like the Battle Beast. All right. I definitely want to get out the boy. Uh, we'll switch in the Togekiss once more. And... If I... They're likely... Not going to stay fire type. So it's in my best interest to Geyser for future damage. That looked like the Battle Beast. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I might be leaving Mamoswine alone for too long, but Mamoswine doesn't have anything to hit my Rotom, so I'm fine. Rotom hasn't even eaten its berry yet, has it? They're not going to airstream. They're going to knuckle or something. Mark was too weak. He was. He most certainly was. Mamoswine protects. Interesting. The protect went first. Am I going to take a free? Okay, I'm not going to take a free, but next turn, that Cinderace is mine. Next turn, that's mine. Okay, so we know my play is the Max Lightning, right? <laughs> uh, and he's... 
He's gonna predict me. I'm gonna predict him to predict me. I'm gonna. Uh, I want a dazzling gleam, kind of. I kind of. I kind of want a dazzling gleam. I don't lose anything from doing this, do I? This Cinderace is mine this turn. Let me go ahead and. Uh, mm, I lightning now. I don't gain anything from Geyser. I asked Peck to hit Feromosa. They could take out my boy, but I don't even care. In fact, it might be better for me if they take out my boy. Ice Crew Crash. They didn't predict, but it's fine. It's actually fine. This thing's likely Focus Sash. Trey Bex, how you doing? So what I want to do here is get in the Incineroar. Fully understanding I can't actually flinch the, um, the Mammoth Swine. What I'm going for here is to pressure it to protect. I want to pressure it into protecting. Because I don't believe it's going to be able to take a Max, uh, a max Geyser. Or not a Max Geyser, a Hydro Pump. Or maybe I just double into the Moltres. Actually, I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna double out. I'm gonna double out because that Mammoth Swine's protecting this turn. That Mammoth Swine's protecting. I kind of want a nasty plot too. I think their play is always to double protect, so I'm gonna nasty plot. I'm playing real aggressive. I'm playing real aggressive here. You better double protect. Because you did it turn one, you better do it again. Come on. Come on, double protect. You know you want- Yeah! Let's go, dude! The baby on our side. That's kind of cringe. Anyways. <laughs> what you gonna do about it, man? What are you gonna do about it? What are you actually gonna do about it? I could Meteor Beam right now. But it's better to substitute. I'm KOing. There's no way this lived this. This is plus three. This is plus three. Maybe I should have doubled down. But, uh, oh yeah, it's times three, but it's plus four. This is times three. You're not living this. And I'm going to sub up because they would never airstream here. They would always darkness. So that lets me, uh, even if they, like, you know, target into my boy, I'm going to be able to take this. And next turn, I outspeed and I just meteor beam. Get my berry off. Oh, he's making my Earthquake. He's making my Earthquake. Critical hit, nice. If only it mattered. How much is this doing? <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. That is very satisfying. All right, uh, now my play is going to be to Protect and Hydro Pump, just in case it's Sash. Because that gives me two opportunities to land a Hydro Pump instead of one. There's the Crash. They're going for the flinch. They really are. I don't think they're going to get it. Oh, they got it. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, now I sub. They better not take this win from me. Actually, I think I play sub protect. 
I'm going to sub and protect, assuming they don't Earthquake this turn. Okay, they Earthquake this turn. Yeah, next turn I just got to bite the bullet and hit it. I gotta bite the bolt and hit it now. I really hope it's not Sash. And that I don't miss this attack. Actually, maybe my play is just to substitute. No, I have to Meteor Beam. I always have to Meteor Beam. Did I click that? I have to make sure I didn't misclick. I'm always scared of misclicking at the end game. All right, you better connect. If you don't connect, you're getting released. You know the deal. Even though I don't own this Pokemon, it's a rental. If he's not connecting, I demand the owner release it. All right. Yep, there's the Sash. I better connect right now. Or they better just hit the Rotom. Here's the Ice Yeah, I win. Cool. Yeah, because now I just Sludge Bomb and I always win. But, in case... Because what is it? They've revealed Earthquake, Icicle Crash, and Protect. I always just fake out Sludge Bomb. Yeah, there's no way I lose. There's the Protect, figured that much. Doesn't matter though, because I outspeed. Got, I considered subbing, but it doesn't make a difference in the end. Because even if they were like to crit an Icicle Spear, or an Ice Shard, even if they crit, even if they like crit the Ice Shard to knock out my thing, I just Flare Blitz, you know? There it is. Nah, no crit. Give me that. Nice. Cool. 